Hi, my name is uh, Chuck Williams, and I work with CBMC, Christian Businessmen's Connections here in the St. Louis area. And a neat story I want to share with you. One of the tools that uh, CBMC offers is this little tool called the 10 Most Wanted card. And uh, I've had my friend and neighbor, Paul, on my list for at least five years, probably seven, which means at least once a week I've been praying for this guy and his salvation. Uh, and also, I hand my card to guys I meet with on a regular basis. I'm in three, four meetings a week. So I've had literally hundreds of guys praying for this guy over the last five, seven years. Well, on Father's Day, uh, he comes walking down the street, and he's going to our community pool, which is a couple doors down from me. And uh, I, Diane, my wife, and I are on our front porch praying for people. And I go, Diane, I think he's coming to our house. And sure enough, he doesn't make the left turn into the pool. He comes straight to our front porch, and he basically wishes me a happy Father's Day. And I thank him for that. And I said, you know, Paul, uh, I've been praying for you for years. And he goes, really? Why? And I said, well, I want you to know Jesus like I know Jesus. And it was kind of an interesting uh, few minutes of discussion. Basically, he told me his daughter had recently become a Christian, and had brought him a book and asked him to read it. I told him, hey, why don't you start reading that, and you and I can talk about it. And he was open to that. I share my testimony with him. I share with him how uh, in my early 20s, I had to cap by the tail. Man, I was a... Uh, corporate executive. I was running a plant down in Houston, Texas. At 24 years old, I had a nice salary coming to car. Uh, I was down there, all expenses covered. Stayed in whatever hotel I wanted, eat whatever I wanted. And I couldn't eat or sleep because I had no peace. And I got in my hotel room that night and I basically got on my hand, my knees and I just prayed, Lord, I made you Savior a long time ago. I wanted that fire insurance. But man, I want to make you Lord of my life. I want to surrender my life to you. When I did, I experienced a peace that is supernatural, unexplainable, but real, and it's been with me ever since. And as I told Paul, my life has been perfect since, but I've got peace and purpose, which is what I think every man's really looking for. Paul agreed. He started to weep a little bit. If you knew this guy, Paul, he's not a crier, man. He's a tough guy. And uh, my wife was sitting next to me. She's crying. He's crying. And uh, basically asked him if he's ready to rededicate his life to the Lord, because he said as a young person, he had, he had been a Christian and been in church, but had become disillusioned with the church. And I said, it's not about a church, it's about your relationship with Jesus Christ. He was not ready to rededicate his life on Father's Day. So yesterday, uh, I'm in the pool a second time, kind of against my wife's best wishes. Uh, she was preparing dinner, and uh, my granddaughter wanted to go swimming. I said, let's go swimming. So we went over there, and sure enough, my no another neighbor, Corey, was there. Now, I've not seen Corey in a long time, but he's been there 20 plus years, just like I have in this neighborhood. And so we're talking about different things, talking about life, catching up. And I see Paul starting to come towards the pool. I said, Corey, be praying for Paul. He's real close to receiving Christ. So he starts praying for him. I'm praying for him. Sure enough, Paul comes, sets the stuff down, gets to the pool, wades over to Corey and I, and uh, we basically start talking. A little small talk at first. And I said, uh, Corey, how long has it been since you've been to this pool? And he said, eight years. I said, Paul, do you think it's a coincidence that he is here today as uh, you and I are talking? I said, Corey, why don't you share your faith story with Paul? And Corey was prepared, as he teaches us to be, be prepared to share the faith you have, the hope you have. And he did. He did a great job sharing his testimony. At the end of that testimony, Paul was ready. So right there in our community pool, I had the opportunity to lead Paul in a prayer of salvation where he repented from his sins, he trusted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior, and he surrendered his will to the will of our Lord. And uh, he's a new man today. And we're super excited about that. I came back to the pool a little later, gave him, um, Satan doesn't want this recording going off, but we're going to do it anyway. I hope you can hear me okay with the little doggy back there. But uh, I went back and I handed him Beginning Steps with Christ. I said, start reading through this and you and I will go through it on a weekly basis. But uh, be praying for Paul. He's a new believer and there's many more out there that need to hear about Jesus. So God bless you. Thanks for listening.